back to the channel. My name is J.R. Carroll. I am the author of the More Than Human novels. And today I have some big news. Before I went on vacation, I interviewed the biggest author in urban fantasy. Yes, Jim Butcher. Thousands of you showed up to watch that. We did it live. There was so much interaction with the fans. And I told you that is what I wanted this channel to be more about. So in that, I am bringing you an interview with possibly the biggest indie comic book creator in the world. That is Eric July, also known as Young Ripper, is bringing his Ripperverse to the channel. And then I have to get, I have to basically turn this entire studio here into a whiteboard to try to explain to you, well, okay, you can't start at Batman number one because there's like five of those, right? Uh, Batman number ones and, oh, well, there was the new 52 and they yep. rebooted. American comic book market is still kind of thirsty for this type of material. They've just not been getting it from the big two. When I first saw the story, I said, Eric July, man, that's cool. Good for him. I hope he makes a couple bucks on that. That's a good effort. You know, me, I don't know anything about comics. Maybe I'll even buy a comic. Then I look down. Uh, you have made, if my numbers are correct here, Eric, I don't want to out you, have people come hitting you up for cash. You have sold three and a half million dollars worth of comic books. I will be interviewing him on the 11th at 5 p.m. Saturday night. And I want to have all of you here again. So we are going to do this live. You can put your questions, if you have any right now, into the comments. While you're doing that, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notifications so you know when we're going live with Young Rippa. Now, I'm going to try and get to, you know, all the best questions. Of course, I have my own questions, but I want you all to show up. Even if you haven't already submitted a question, you can ask questions in the in the comment section, in the chat section while we're live. Get discussions going, and a lot of times that brings out really good questions as well. And we'll bring a, we'll bring those questions and you know and those comments up on screen for Eric to take a look at. And I'm gonna try and ask him questions that you know he doesn't normally get asked now. He is on a ton of people's, you know, he's got a bunch of channels that he does, uh, but he hasn't been interviewed all that often. So I really, you know, want to get some really good questions like I did with Jim and, you know, and have all of the, you know, maybe the weird or the less known things about maybe ISOM. Maybe it's about his, about YouTube in general. Maybe just his thoughts on uh, certain things in the way that the movie industry is going because that's how I found him through his you know Disney videos and uh, you know some of those other things but I am super excited to to bring him on the channel for you to ask him questions because that's what I want this to be about it's all about the fans it's all about you guys I can't wait it's gonna be a fun time I'll have the uh, link up here and I'll post that uh, link to that video all over the place for you guys to see. And remember, be more than human.